Hi, I'm Jason R. Shaver, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of what's new in the Azure 2.8 SDK and some of the exciting new features available to you. We'll be taking a look at new Azure RM deployment features, making it easier than ever to deploy your Azure templates, leveraging the power of application insights to troubleshoot cloud application startup and recycle issues, easy Docker scaffolding with Yo Docker, and introduce our new cross-platform Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer tool. Let's dive right in. We've made some improvements to Azure RM deployments to make them more reliable. To show you this, I'm going to go New Project, Azure Resource Group, Microsoft Virtual Machines, and it creates our new project. First, let's take a look at the scripts. The first thing you notice is that we've added new require modules to the top of the script. This adds support for the new Azure RM commandlets. Let's take a look at one of those. The test Azure RM resource group deployment commandlet is a new quick and easy way to test your templates and parameters files to make sure that your deployments are successful. Now let's take a quick look at the templates and see some new features there. So we're going to scroll down to new storage account name. And what many people find is when they deploy their template, it works great the first time, and deploy it again, and there's a name collision. So what we're going to do is we're going to concatenate the existing new storage account name with unique string. And we're going to pass in the resource group. and get an ID value for it. And this will ensure that this name parameter gets a unique value for that resource group. And of course, you can deploy using the Azure RM deployment dialog. Let's take a look at some of our Azure diagnostic improvements. We've added the ability to automatically send environment and application logs, traces, and events to Application Insights. To show you this, we're going to take a look at the Contoso Ads Cloud Service Project. If you double-click on your worker role, you'll be taken to the Azure Configuration screen, and you'll see this checkbox, Send Diagnostics Data to Application Insights. When you select this, you'll be given the opportunity to pick which Application Insights instance you wish it to send to. We're going to select Contoso Ads for this case. Then you click OK and Save All. So here we are at the Application Insights instance for the Contoso Ads project. Now, we want to diagnose why our worker role is failing. So there are two ways to do this. One, you could click Search and look through your events. And you'll see some errors available to you here. Another option for troubleshooting difficult problems is you can create favorite searches, like I've created one for worker role startup issues, that are built to find the, these specific events. So taking a look at one of these events, you'll see that we have all of your stack trace information available to you, as well as access to other related telemetry events. This makes it easier than ever to identify why worker roles are recycling or failing and fix them. In addition to these new features available in the SDK, I'd like to show you two more Azure tools we've introduced recently to add to your tool chest. First, we've been continuing our support of Docker and Azure together with our new Yaoman generator, Yo Docker. This generator creates a Docker file and a script to help you build and run your ASP.NET 5, Go, or Node.js application inside a Docker container. Scripts can be generated as bash or batch files with PowerShell coming soon. 
We've made a significant revision of our storage tools with our Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer. This new free standalone tool allows you to log in with your Microsoft account, organizational account, including support for two-factor authentication, or with a direct storage account name and key, and browse all of your storage accounts in one place. The new Azure Storage Explorer currently supports both classic and the newer Azure RM storage accounts. We've heard your feedback and focused on providing a small, lightweight, as an XCopy deployable application for both Windows and OS X. This is a preview project and is focused on providing functionality for blobs with only limited support for tables and queues. But give us your feedback because we have more in store for the future. Consider taking the Azure Storage Explorer currently in preview for a spin and let us know what you think. Everything you've seen in this video can be downloaded from our website on azure.com. We have great walkthroughs and tutorials on the documentation site, and while you're there, you can visit the Azure blog for more in-depth articles from the team or just to stay up to date on the newest developments in Azure. My name is Jason R. Shaver, and I thank you for joining me.